Although the government has made some restrictions to usage of the simulator, it is still open and is limited to individual members or a member with family from the same household. I'd like to feature a few of the different options that you can use as an individual to still take advantage of the simulator and have some fun and get out of the house. The most common use of TrackMan and the original software for TrackMan was the shot analysis on the driving range. There's upwards of 40 data points that can be um, used in order to work on your golf game. Now, I would suggest if you're going to spend a lot of time in here that you uh, take a lesson with one of the, the PGA golf professionals just so you know what numbers you're looking for. Um, if you're just looking for total distance or total carry, um, definitely you can use this, this application uh, to work on the distances that you're hitting each shot. But again, if, if you're looking at, say, club path and face angle and attack angle, these numbers can be a little bit confusing at times. So I would suggest just working with one of the uh, professionals to, to learn what those numbers mean and how to change them. So if you're in this software uh, section, there's a few things you can do. So obviously you could just hit balls. Um, which can get a little boring after a while. Um, so another option would be to move to a video portion where when you're hitting, um, you're able to see yourself swinging. Now, the last shot I hit, I had the light off in the front, so I'm going to turn on the light and adjust it just so it's a little bit brighter. I'd suggest wearing lighter clothing as well just to be able to, uh, to see yourself on the swing. But essentially, when you hit a shot on the right side, you're going to see the video of that shot uh, it'll also give you little lines showing the face angle, the path of the golf club, and the track of the golf ball. Um, a lot of people really like this just to see if they're working on something on their golf swing. Um, they're going to get immediate feedback um, showing them, you know, where their positions are. And if, if, they, if they know they're working on something in particular, um, they'll know if they did it or not. So uh, this uh, feature gets used quite a bit. Um, besides the video feature, there's also the opportunity to do distance gapping. So um, this would require changing the, the golf club you're hitting each time. So currently I started with a, a seven iron. Um, I'll hit one with the, the seven and then I'll switch off into a, uh, a nine iron and then a five, a five iron. And, and what you can do is hit about three to five shots with each iron and really try to um, narrow down the, the distances that you carry your golf clubs as well as, as how far they roll. Um, so you can do this with every single golf club in your bag and almost you can create a little grid that you can keep in your bag just uh, as a reminder of, of how far do I carry it when hit properly and how far does it roll out um, from that. And, and it should give you a little bit of an advantage coming into the season when you're maybe hitting shots over a forced carry, say over water or a bunker. Um, you'll know which club when hit properly will get you the distance you need. Um, it's a surprise how many people don't realize how far they carry their golf club versus roll. Um, so again, that's a, an important feature to know. And, and uh, um, if you're really trying to work on your game and get to know it a little bit better, uh, this is a great feature for that. Once you're com complete the uh, through your set, you would then go to a, um, a different screen that essentially shows you a breakdown of every single shot. Um, there's also a way that when you go into this um, um, feature that you can log in and create an email uh, of which you'd be able to get that information um, and email it to yourself so that you under, you, you're able to analyze that data later and again, learn from it or be able to create your own little grid that you can keep in your bag. Another one of the areas you could spend a lot of time as an individual uh, practicing and playing is the target practice range. Um, it's, it's the virtual range. It's one of my favorite places to, uh, to, to practice and really work on, on um, hitting certain distances. So if you've, if you've spent some time on the shot analysis and working on your yardages, you can go to this virtual range and uh, it, it allows you to sort of pick your distances that you want to hit from and, uh, and work on those distances, hitting to actual targets rather than sort of just hitting right down the middle of the range. It's a little bit more interactive and, and uh, a little bit more rewarding too. In fact, uh, a, a perfect shot will actually go into the hole, which is cool. 
So once this loads up, you'll notice that uh, it gives you yardages basically from 60 yards all the way up to 355. Um, so these are just stock yardages that they have set for you where you'd hit from the tee box and hit to a green. So I've just picked 100 yards and uh, I'll hit a wedge um, and just show you sort of what, it's very similar to the simulator in the sense of hitting um, to a green and, and seeing the reaction based off how well struck the, the shot was. Uh, when it hits that green, it'll likely um, uh, sit and stop. So that's actually one of my better shots of the day. You also notice that in the top right corner, there's eight data points uh, similar to the shot analysis that you can select which information you want to get in that corner. Um, so if you're working on say path and face angle, uh, carry distance and total distance, you can use those up in that right corner and, it, and pick the, the data that you want um, and want to see every time you hit the shots. Um, so I've, I've picked a, now 150 yards as my distance and so I'm going to hit a shot uh, again to the 150 um, and again you can pick essentially any distance you, you want and work on those distances. So here goes the 150, not quite as good as the 100 and looks like I uh, uh, found the bunker with that shot. You'll notice in the bottom right corner that uh, the map view, that ball, every time you're on the same target it'll leave a little uh, red dot just to show you where um, that ball was. So if you hit 100 shots, you'd have a, a lot of red dots around there just to show you d dispersion. There is an option to pick um, your select position on the golf course. So you don't necessarily have to hit from the tee box all the time. You could select a spot beside the green like I've done here and, and work on, say, some chipping or... or um, kind of delicate shots, say 20 to 30 yards. So I had, I think, about 26 yards here just to work on some chips. Um, so again, if, if there's weaknesses in your game that you want to work on, you can create that environment uh, uh, on the simulator through this virtual driving range. The last area I want to show you uh, in the virtual range is the, is the um, hitting a driver. So you can set up a, a space down the middle of a fairway and, and start working on, on hitting a driver, whether it's you're trying to shape the ball or whether it's just trying to hit the fairway and, and uh, work on a consistent uh, uh, ball flight. So um, again, it's, it's not necessarily hitting at a, at a green, but it's, it's hitting, uh, trying to hit it in the fairway and hit consistent shots. So, so literally you can hit every shot in your bag through this virtual range. The next feature I'd like to take you through is what's called the TrackMan Combine. PGA Tour professionals all around the world use this uh, um, this feature to to work on their golf game and to discover which uh, areas of the game they require uh, the most work. So it takes you through a series of shots starting from 60 yards all the way up to 180 yards and then uh, hitting a driver. You can also customize this uh, if those yardages are not within your scope. Um, you can customize a TrackMan Combine to sort of fall within the distances that you would hit it. Uh, so you go through three shots from each distance uh, once, and then once that's complete, you'll go back through those three shots again. So it's a total of six shots uh, from each of the distances. Um, when you hit those shots, it's your total carry distance, and then it gives you a score on the far right, as you can see below. Um, once you've gone through all of those shots, it's going to give you a report that uh, um, you'll actually be able to send that to yourself when you set up your account um, and there's, it's free of charge. It'll send you the report by email and you can anal analyze that uh, report and sort of learn where it is that you struggle. Um, in a lot of cases, you know, a lot of people think that full swings are where the problems are, but in fact, the short game, um, trying to hit consistent distances, whether again it's 60 or 70 yards, Yards, um, if we can narrow down those yardages and, and really get consistent with them, that's probably where I'll, most people will see the huge benefit. The combine will probably take you about 30 to 40 minutes to complete. Um, so if you book it for an hour, there's a essentially it'll take your entire hour to go through the entire combine. Once the combat, once you finish hitting shots, this is the report you're going to see. So this was something I'd sent to myself by email at a previous combine. Um, you essentially you can look at every single shot that you hit, uh, the dispersion rates, and then the distances of every shot, and then the scores you're getting. So it's going to tell you exactly where uh, your strengths and your weaknesses are based on that last uh, combine. Um, so then you can start working on those shots. So um, it's a really helpful tool to start working on your game. 
The next feature I'd like to talk about is the par three golf courses. There's 11 golf courses on the simulator that are, are par three. Some are nine holes, some are 18 holes. And you can play these par three golf courses from any one of the tees. Um, in some cases, they're around 1,000 yards. And in other cases, it's as low as uh, like 400 yards. So it allows you to, to pick the distance that maybe you want to work on some shorter shots um, or longer shots or irons um, that you're able to play within an hour's time slot, no problem. And again, it's interactive. So in this case, I'm picking the shorter golf course at 965 yards. Um, and it allows you to hit shots and work on, on things other than just hitting drivers uh, and maybe fairway woods up by the greens. You also can pick the gimme distance. Um, my favorite is, is actually picking like a 16 foot gimme distance and trying to work on getting a two on every hole. So if I, if I um, say hit a shot within 16 feet, it's an auto one putt. And again, the goal is just trying to hit it close to the pin every time. Um, putting's not that important in the simulator. I find it's the hardest thing to work on and improve versus just putting on, say, a putting mat at your home. I think you'll see more value in that versus uh, putting into the screen. So again, I'm going to hit a shot here. It's uh, 70, what is it, 70 or 68 yards. Uh, looks like I hit a little bit too far here going downhill. So again, it's just it's just testing your skills on a on a par three golf course. It's great for a one hour. Um, again, just something interactive and fun that you can do uh, besides working on on um, again just a full golf course. The last area I'd like to feature is the 18-hole golf course. So anybody who's who's played in the simulator has likely tried this already. Um, but one of the things I'd like to point out is, is you can set the settings so that you can move through this quite quickly. So I'm setting the, the gimmies to 16 feet, and I'm also setting the, the putting to an auto two putt. Uh, you can also pick auto putt that, that gives you a variety based on percentages from the PGA Tour. Um, again, this will help us move through the round of golf. You can get 18 holes done uh, as a single within an hour, um, which is, again, a cool feature that if, you, if you're down there for an hour, you can still play a full round of golf. And, and uh, um, again, the putting is, is probably the least important part of it. So typically, um, we'll set it up for an auto putt or an auto two putt. Um, so again, if you're looking just for some entertainment, this is a, a great way to do that. If you come in by yourself or, or uh, if, if there's a couple of you from your household, we do suggest one hour uh, time slots per person. So if there's two of you, uh, we'd suggest blocking off two hours. Um, so you get started. Again, you can use your driver, hit it out there, and, and it's really using every shot in your bag at this point. Um, and again, just enjoy a round of golf uh, at one of the over 50 golf courses on the system. So again, that was a few things that you can do as an individual uh, to enjoy the simulator and an opportunity to get out of the house and, and stay active. Uh, to book a tee time, just give the golf shop a call. We're booking uh, seven days in advance starting at 9.30 a.m. I hope you're all doing well and we'll see you soon.